There are a number of ways to access Home Assistant, and one of the requests I've gotten the most is how to set up the Cloudflare Argo Tunnel. It's a secure tunnel between your local instance of Home Assistant and the internet. And the way it works is it opens up an egress point from your network to Cloudflare, and then everything going into that domain at Cloudflare goes back into that tunnel and to your Home Assistant instance. It's super easy to set up, and so we're gonna go through that today. I always like to go through the documentation first before I show you the actual integration or install or setup. That way you get the official word from the official source. In this case, we're talking about Cloudflare Tunnel. It provides you with a secure way to connect your resources to Cloudflare without a publicly routable IP address. With the tunnel, you do not send traffic to an external IP. Instead, there is a lightweight daemon that runs in your infrastructure called Cloudflare and it creates an outbound only connection to Cloudflare's edge. And then Cloudflare tunnels your request from Cloudflare through that uh, egress tunnel back to HTTP servers, SSH servers, and other types of things. And what it says is this way your origin can serve traffic through Cloudflare without being vulnerable to attacks that bypass Cloudflare. So that is a way to secure your environment and it's an easy way to set up a connection to your Home Assistant instance. And so it talks about how it works. It establishes outbound connections between your resources, which would be your Home Assistant instance, and the Cloudflare Edge. The tunnels are persistent objects that route traffic to DNS records. So you kind of have to have some other stuff set up. We'll talk about that in a second. Within the same tunnel, you can run as many Cloudflare processes, connectors, they call it, as needed. And these processes will establish connections to the Edge and send traffic to the nearest Cloudflare data center. So there's a diagram here you can look at. You start at your browser level. The request goes to the Cloudflare Edge network. And then from there, uh, there's a tunnel here and that sends it all the way through to your local service on whatever port you're running that on. And this, in, again, in this case, it's the Home Assistant instance. Now there are some pre prerequisites to think about here. First of all, you need to make sure that you have a Cloudflare account. Those are free. There's a lot of free tier services that you can set up with Cloudflare. Um, you have to have a domain set up and you have to be using Cloudflare's DNS servers. So make sure you have that set up. I'm not gonna go into all the details of how that happens in this video, but there are plenty of ways that you can reach search how to set up a domain name and get one. They're not very expensive, you know, 10 or $12 a year for a domain name. And you can use it for all kinds of stuff. Uh, and then you have to have some sort of uh, VM or whatever running in your, your local environment. You can also use Windows. You can also use Mac. Uh, or if you're running Docker on something, you can also use Docker. Uh, there's Docker uh, environments for Windows. Um, I'm going to be using an Ubuntu server, a little server that I have set up that also runs my frigate instance. We're just going to try it out on that. So make sure you have all those things set up before you actually try to do this. Now, the way we're going to do this is kind of follow along with this getting started blog post here. The first thing you need to do is set up a tunnel. And we're gonna do it remotely on the Zero Trust dashboard. You can do it two ways, that way, or you can use the CLI. The easiest way to do it is to use the Zero Trust dashboard. And it talks about the prerequisites, which I mentioned. You need to have a website on Cloudflare, and you need to make sure you change your domain name service to Cloudflare, because Cloudflare will actually configure the DNS service for you to point that domain name to your tunnel so that you it knows where to send that traffic to. So then you log in to the Zero Trust dashboard. So let's go ahead and open up the Zero Trust dashboard. And it's got some options over here on the left side, left hand side. For us, we want to click on access and tunnels. And we're gonna create our first tunnel. Just click on the button there. You can give it a name and we will save the tunnel. And it's going to ask you to configure your connector. Your connector is the daemon that lives inside your local network. And again, you can use Windows, Mac, Debian, Red Hat, or Docker. And then an architecture, either 64-bit or 32-bit. I am going to use uh, Docker. And for those of you that are security conscious and like to tell me when I do things badly on the YouTubes, I'm going to remove this tunnel when I'm done. So don't worry about seeing the whole token business and all that jazz. It's going to go away before the video is even released. If you don't have Docker installed on your VM or your Ubuntu server, you're going to need to do that as well. And that's again beyond the scope of this video. All right, so let's go over to my virtual, not my virtual machine, my actual 
Optiplex server that's running Ubuntu, and we will paste that command in here. And this is gonna create, download, create, and fire up the tunnel all in one step. So we'll just hit enter here. And if you're running this as a non-privileged user, you will actually have to run it as a privileged user. And here we go. And just like that, it's going through and making connections to four different data centers. And in this case, two data centers, centers with four different endpoints. And that's one of the benefits of having Docker or having uh, a tunnel is it will create those four. Now you can come down here and see that you have a connector already up and running. The connector is in a status of connected. So with one single command running Docker, we now have our connector endpoint or our tunnel set up and running between our internal environment and uh, Cloudflare's edge, right? So now we have to be able to connect that to our Home Assistant instance. And that's gonna be the next step here. We're gonna either do public host names or private networks. Now, private networks is a whole nother story because you have to install the warp client and do a bunch of other things. We don't need to do that today for a single instance of Home Assistant. So I'm gonna call this um, a HA demo Argo for the, because I know I haven't used that domain name. If you use a domain name that's already been used within your, your DNS system or DNS server, it's not gonna work. So make sure you pick something new. You're gonna select a, a domain name. I will just pick the demo domain name. And if you have a path, you can do a path. I do not have a path. And then we're gonna select a service HTTPS. Now this is our internal URL. And you can use the IP address which is what, is what I will do. And it's 8123 for Home Assistant. Make sure you have this all correct. And then you can save the Mostly Chris demo. If you click out of here, it will tell you if there's any errors in that. Save the Mostly Chris demo. And now we have a demo or a, a tunnel set up. The status is active and we have um, the route set up. So that's ha demo argo that mostly Chris demo.com. And if you need to configure or delete it, you can do that here. You can configure the tunnel names. You can go through and re-download the Docker or whatever environment you have here. You can run this in different environments at the same time. It gives you actually some redundancy as well. And then you can click on public host, host name and add more. If you want to add more, uh, as long as they're within that network where that connector is running, you can add more things. If I had a second home assistant instance or a different server running something else, I could also set that up here as well. And if we go to this now in a browser, you should be able to see this domain name uh, and you can just click here, this domain name show up and go to your instance. Now you'll notice that you have a bad gateway error here and I will tell you exactly what it is. It means that the browser's working, the Cloudflare part is working, what is not working is our host name. And the reason being is that at some point in the past, I set up Home Assistant to be SSL enabled which means it has a certificate on it, an SSL certificate, which also means that if it doesn't get the right uh, domain name coming to it, it's not going to work. So what we need to do is actually edit some settings here. And you have an additional application settings down here. And you can go to TLS. And if I don't want it to verify the certificate, I can turn this on. Now you have to be careful about messing with security certificates and disabling them and whatnot. Because this is going from Cloudflare, which actually owns the certificate for the Argo demo domain that I just, uh, or the, the uh, host name that I just put in there, it will automatically create an SSL certificate and verify it on the browser to Cloudflare side. And then from Cloudflare to your Home Assistant instance, it becomes a tunnel. So as long as everything inside your network is, is uh, good, then you can get away with turning the TLS verify off. So I have actually turned that off. I'm gonna save this again. And what that will do is allow me to connect to my HTTPS or SSL enabled Home Assistant instance, even with an incorrect certificate. Now there are lots of ways to get around that. It gets pretty complicated when you start trying to set up certificates and everything, but you can do that if you need to. So now if we try to go here again, hopefully this should work. And now you see that you have access to Home Assistant and let's just go ahead and log in. I'm going to show you one other thing that you're going to need to make sure you're aware of. 
Now this is considered a proxy. You are connecting to Home Assistant via a proxy. In order to allow Home Assistant to be able to connect uh, using a proxy or something to connect to Home Assistant via a proxy, you actually have to add trusted proxies to your Home Assistant instance. And that's in your configuration.yaml file. So we're gonna go over here to, make it a little bit bigger again, over to our uh, terminal and can we make that bigger a little bit so we're going to make sure we're in the config directory and we are going to look at our configuration.yaml file that is where we're going to place our trusted proxy setting now the trusted proxy setting will be the ip address of the machine that you've installed the connector on because uh, cloudflare is going to go from cloudflare to your your uh, where your tunnel is which is that you know, Ubuntu or Windows or Docker container you're running, that's the IP address that Home Assistant will see your configuration from or your connection from. So that is the proxy that it needs to have in its settings. So if we look at our configuration.yaml and we take a look at here, we have our HTTP section, our SSL certificate, SSL key, and then all these other things here. But what we need to add is the IP address of the device that has the connector on it from Cloudflare for the Argo tunnel. This is the IP address that, that Home Assistant will see as the proxy for Cloudflare's tunnel. So make sure this is in here. Once you put this in here and save it, check your configuration using the configuration checker under developer tools. And every, if everything is good, then you can restart Home Assistant and then you'll be able to connect. If you don't do this, you will not be able to connect to Home Assistant because it will complain. If you have an issue with Home Assistant, you can always go to the log files and I'll just go to a dashboard here, go to C logbook, push C here, logbook. And we would not logbook. I want to look at logs. Your logs here will show you if there's a problem with proxies or something else. So make sure you check your logs if you have an issue. Okay, so what have we done so far? Everything, pretty much. That's it for setting this up. One other thing to consider too is that if you're using the DNS record, which is what I just showed you, the application defaults to the Cloudflare settings of the host name in your account that includes the Cloudflare tunnel DNS record. So mostly Chris demo, my domain, uh, includes rules, especially firewall policies. And with Cloudflare, you can set up a number of different policies. For example, if you know you're only going to be accessing Home Assistant from a certain geography, the US, the UK, somewhere like that, you can set Cloudflare to reject or block all other traffic if it doesn't originate from the geography that you allow. So in my case, I don't think I'm, unless I'm traveling uh, internationally, and then I can alter that rule if I need to at the time. For the most, uh, for most of my uh, access, I don't need anything outside the US. In that case, I will block everything that doesn't originate from the US. It just, it doesn't eliminate um, the threat, but it does, uh, reduce the threat vector, right? So that's one option. There's also other file firewall rules you can set up, caching rules, things like that. So that is setting up the Argo tunnel. It is very, very simple. It is just another way to access Home Assistant. And when you do this, if you decide you want to set up remote access this way, you would go into your Home Assistant settings. So we go to settings, we go down here to system and then network we would set up our internet address, which is our external to our domain name that we set up in the tunnel, which was this one right here. I'm just gonna copy this if I can. Copy link address, all right. And I'm gonna put it in here because I couldn't remember what it was. And then that is our external URL. All right, well, again, that's super simple to do. Um, if you're running the companion app, by the way, also you can set those internal and external URLs on the companion app for your phone or mobile or tablet or whatever. So this shows how to set up the Cloudflare Argo tunnel. Very simple to do, very quick to do. Uh, as I mentioned before, I use Nabucasa as my primary connection point for simplification of talking to smart speakers and things like that. I can use the Argo tunnel when I'm out and about just to connect back to the Home Assistant dashboards. Um, and it is an alternative to the, the ways you can do things. I've talked about a number of different ways to connect to Home Assistant. You can watch my video on how to do all of those. If you have questions about this one specifically, let me know down in the comments below. 
If you have questions about this or anything else, hit me up on my Discord server. Um, if you're not a subscriber and there are a lot of you that watch my channel that are not subscribers, please hit that subscribe button. It really does help. It pushes the videos to where people can find them a lot easier on YouTube. Thanks for watching and we will see you on the next video.